What's good everyone, it's Steve from Sneaker Tech Talk, back with another video today. For today's video, we will take a look at my top five tractions of 2023. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right, so coming in at number five, I do have the Curry 11 and the Game 1 mid. Starting with the Curry 11, they ramped things up even more as far as how they performed on court, in my opinion. So on dirty floors, they did perform better. I would say you still have to wipe, but that shoe just has an absolute elite traction pattern. You basically come to a dead stop. It is a silent but deadly traction pattern. You're not gonna hear any screeches with that shoe but they just perform great when you are making those hard lateral cuts. It doesn't matter, the Curry 11 will have you covered. Now tied at number five is the Game 1 Mid. Now this shoe has a very thick and durable traction setup. Again, it's another silent but deadly traction pattern. You're not gonna hear any noise, no screeches, no nothing, but it just bites through dust. I didn't wipe for like two hours when I was playing pickup and I wasn't sliding out at all. And not to mention, you can actually take this shoe outdoors. You can play outdoors, indoors, it does not matter. Liable traction setup on the Game 1 mid is unparalleled. And in my opinion, it has the best traction for outdoor use here in 2023. But again, sound off in the comments if you guys have played with either one of those. But coming in at number five, it is the Curry 11 and the Game 1 mid from Serious Player Only. Coming in at number four is the Air Jordan 38. Now this traction setup is a little bit controversial. I'll get into that in a second. As far as how it performs on court, they are elite. They have a decent screech as far as noise and feedback goes. And as far as hard lateral cuts, you're gonna be good to go. I did play in the PF pair, I believe the pair from overseas in China, which was a solid outsole. I didn't really have to wipe it all. Cleaner, dirty floors, this traction just performed amazing. Now the pairs we're getting here in Canada, for the most part, are translucent. So I would say on dirty floors, you should be wiping because you know translucent rubber is gonna be picking up dust. But as far as performance goes, this shoe does a fantastic job. Now where I have seen some issues with this outsole is in the forefoot where you have those two grooves that are kind of cut out. Um, I have seen some outsoles actually peeling away. So do keep that in mind check your shoes after you know a couple weeks to a couple months of playing in them because nike does have a great return policy but coming in at number four it is the air jordan 38 i enjoyed my time in them i thought they definitely ramped it up from last year with the 37s so the air jordan 38 makes it to the number four spot coming in at number three it is a tie i do have the nike jaw one and the sabrina one both of these shoes have elite traction setups now the nike jaw one just works it makes a pretty loud screech as far as durability i've played in them like 40 hours so far my blue pair and there is no signs of wear on them at all which is definitely nice as far as making hard lateral cuts or any forward motions or movements you're going to be good to go in the nike jaw one more or less the exact same with the sabrina one i would say you have to wipe a little bit more with the sabrina one compared to the jaw one but the sabrina one when it's clean and on a clean floor they do a fantastic job they're gonna bite great, you're gonna have no issues. Again, on dirty floors, you'll have to wipe every so often, but both of these shoes are just very reliable if you're playing on indoor court surfaces. So coming in at number three, you are getting the Nike Jaw One and the Nike Sabrina One. Coming in at number two, it is the Nike LeBron 21. Now this shoe basically does everything that the 20s did and they do them just a little bit better. The traction's basically the same in my opinion. I would say the durability, they are kind of wearing away a little bit, but not too bad and it's not affecting the performance. So what you're getting with the LeBron 21 as far as traction goes is a multi-directional traction pattern. Both of mine are translucent. So if you do have a translucent pair, you might have to wipe every so often on dirty floors. Clean floors, you're gonna be good to go. This thing is absolutely elite. It just screeches to a stop. It's very loud and very responsive. Dirty floors, you might have to wipe every so often, but you'll be good to go if you give them a wipe every five or six plays. The Nike LeBron 21 is just absolutely elite. Again, a multi-directional traction pattern. Basically, any core condition or any movement that you will do with the Nike LeBron 21 will have you covered. And that is why this shoe makes it to the number two spot for traction for me in 2023. And then coming in at number one for traction here in 2023, it is the Serious Player Only Player One Plus. Now this traction setup, it is a multi-directional kind of herringbone traction pattern that does kind of spiral down from the forefoot all the way to the heel. 
and how these perform on court is just elite, bar none. Like, I don't even have to wipe with this outsole. They're gonna stop, they're gonna come to a stop on any floor conditions, it does not matter. The serious player only, player one plus, is elite as far as traction. I haven't taken them outdoors yet, but the rubber compound is pretty firm to the touch, and I've played in this colorway for about 20 hours so far, and I really see no wear and tear at all, so it really doesn't matter what you throw at this shoe, the traction will have you covered. Clean floors, dirty floors, I even played on an old tile floor in a gymnasium and these things were coming to a dead stop so for me and my number one spot here in 2023 it is the serious player only player one plus this traction setup is amazing and let me know if you guys have tried these yet because for me i've got a couple pairs and i just really enjoy what this brand is doing as far as their cushioning setups and just listening to the consumer offering feedback as far as taking it from us and then implementing it in real time in their new basketball shoes. So let me know if you guys have played in these, but for me, as far as traction setups go in 2023, the serious player only, player one plus makes it to the number one spot. So that's gonna do it for my top five traction setups here in 2023. As always, if you guys can like, comment and subscribe, that does help the channel a ton. And check out my Instagram over at Sneaker Tech Talk as it is an extension of my YouTube channel with all my pickups, basketball footage and nostalgia as a whole. As always, thanks for watching today's video and until next time, peace.